uh, and welcome everybody. Uh, it's really great to see everybody here, and this is a real exciting event. Uh, Brian Costin is president and founder of the Schaumburg Freedom Coalition, a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization founded in 2008 to work for lower taxes, personal and economic freedom, transparency, and smaller government for the people of Schaumburg. Do we have anybody from Schaumburg here? There we go. Yeah, at least one. In 2010, Brian won the 2010 Sam Adams Government Watchdog Award for adva advancing transparency and exposing waste in the village of Schaumburg. As a result of his work, the village shut down one of the country's most lucrative red light cameras. Can you step up closer to the mic? Absolutely. Is that better? You can pull it up higher. Okay. I'm a little taller than most. Um, as a result of his work, the village shut down one of the country's most lucrative red light cameras. Cotton saved taxpayers $15 million after exposing a fraudulent tax break scam and moreover built a government transparency website when the village rejected his transparency measures. Now, Costin is running for mayor of Schaumburg, I thought that was a hereditary office, yeah. on a platform of lower taxes, ethics reform, and responsible spending. Please join me in welcoming Brian Costin. All right, thank you, Tri County. Maybe I'll have to move this up. I'm taller than him. Uh, thank you, Tri County Tees, and everyone assembled here today. Uh, I am running for mayor of Schaumburg, Illinois. Uh, Everyone knows that federal, state, and local government uh, is leading us down the wrong path in America right now, and we need to do things to put our country on the right path. We have irresponsible spending going on, ever-increasing taxes, and out-of-control debt, and this is exactly what's happening in Schaumburg as well. I've been involved in politics for many years, but a little over two years ago I founded the Schaumburg Freedom Coalition, a taxpayer watchdog group because I was concerned about the future of my hometown. One of the very first things that I set about doing was educating myself to the issues in Schaumburg. And to do that, you need to have information about how your government spends money. So immediately, I went to our website and looked and saw what resources were on there for citizens, and I found it very wanting. There was no budgets, there was no salary information, there was hardly any information about meetings. So I went to my village board meeting, and went to them with a list of 10 proposals to make our government more transparent and offered them to sign a transparency pledge. And after I offered, that, offered them that pledge, they refused to sign the pledge and they said that they were insulted that a citizen would ask its government to provide more information proactively to its citizens. Insulted. And I was insulted by that response. And for a while I was pretty frustrated and figured, tried to figure out what was I going to do. How was I going to make my community a better place? And I needed access to that information, the budgets, the spending. So I started creating my own website, doing Freedom of Information Act requests and posting it online for everyone to see. Uh, and that's the first step. But really what I found from that information is, is even more alarming. One of the first things I found out was that the village of Schaumburg at the time it was installing a red light camera, which I opposed, they decided to install a red light camera that collected $1.2 million in revenue in only two and a half months at an intersection that had zero accidents caused by red light running in the year prior. It was a public safety scam. One of the next things that I looked into was the out of control spending in the village of Schaumburg. After I got a hold of some of the documents, I found out that from when Mayor Larson first came into office, they were spending $25 million a year. Now, they're spending $200 million per year of taxpayer money in Schaumburg. That's almost a quadrupling after adjusting for inflation and population growth. Another thing I got my hands on was the salary information in the village of Schaumburg. And I found out that from 2003 to 2008, the number of people making over $100,000 a year increased from 20 all the way up to 110. I went to a village board meeting and asked them why that was. And I was shocked. They didn't even know what was going on. So there's a lot of problems in the village of Schaumburg and there, there's out of control spending in other areas too. They have a, a convention center, an airport, and a minor league baseball stadium. Together they're losing the taxpayers over $20 million per year. And that needs to be stopped. In fact, with the Schaumburg Flyers who recently 
uh, were going to be sold, uh, there was an article in the newspaper that said the last three years they haven't been paying their bills. Well, I did a little digging, and I found out that in the last 10 years, the Schaumburg Flyers have never paid the taxpayers on time or in full in any of the last 10 years. However, I did find out that Mayor Larson uh, accepts campaign donations at the same time that they owe the taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, there's many issues in the village of Schaumburg that need to be addressed, but we have some out-of-control taxes. In the last 10 years, the village of Schaumburg has hiked taxes 14 times, including hotel taxes, sales taxes, restaurant taxes, amusement taxes, and most recently, the property tax, uh, which will go into effect this November and December. I, on the other hand, think that we do not need to raise taxes. We need to control spending. And I propose to eliminate the property tax in Schaumburg within two years. And also, all of these tax increases have never been voted on by the public. So I propose that any tax increase proposal in the future, even after I'm out of office, that you will have to get voter approval through a referendum before any tax or spending increase goes into effect. Schomburg needs to be turned around, and I think I'm the right person to do the job. Uh, I very much encourage you to check out our website, briancoston2011.com or schombergfreedom.com. I thank you very much for this opportunity to speak, and I look forward to talking with you soon.